evening. Good evening. Hi guys, how are you? Fine. All right. Here okay. with, I really don't know, but uh, a lot of trouble for, for, for came to this meeting because um, the zoom the zoom app take me out take me in open two accounts I really don't don't understand what happened. Understood, Eduardo. Well, I'm truly sorry to hear about the situation you're having on Zoom. It sometimes gives issues. That's why I logged in so late because I was having issues with Zoom. My recommendation would be for you to report it in the WhatsApp group. So the technicians can go ahead and check your order. Yes, I saw uh, someone is reporting mm -hmm. the same, the same is the same error. Exactly. Yeah. So go ahead and report it again. Report it via the WhatsApp group, and we'll take action from throughout. Okay. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining another class here at Ingles Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Marbona, and today we're going to talk about complaints about the things that annoy you. All right. So, All right. as All right. far as yesterday's class, do you have any questions about the channels? About the relative clauses? Mm. All right, I'm going to take that as a note. So, let's go ahead and continue, guys. And um, let me go ahead and share the screen because today we have a lot to talk. All right, here we go. So please go ahead and read it with me, guys. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson. Lesson. Objective. Objective. Lesson objective. Very good, objective. Now, with the word objective, guys, it is going to be ob object ob object Objective. 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 Right. So guys, in this session, participants will be able to use phrases to talk about annoyance. Annoyance. What okay. is annoyance, teacher? Annoyance is when you don't really like something. Oh, mm -hmm. like molestia. Exactly. All right, okay. so go ahead and read it with me, please. In this section, participants will be able to use phrases to talk about annoyance. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's go ahead and go to the audio guys. We're gonna get this going real, real quick, okay? Please mute your microphone. Okay. Objective. You know, something that drives me crazy is waiting for people. What drives you crazy? Verbs, drive, get, make, phrases, on someone's nerves, someone crazy, someone down, someone mad, someone sick, someone out of the wall, someone's blood boil, someone's goat, under someone's skin. I will give you a minute. All right, let's go ahead and skip this. Drive someone up the wall. All right, guys. So here we're going to be using these expressions in order for you to let the other person know that someone annoys you, okay? That you don't really like something. Okay? Now, so say with me, please. Drive someone crazy. Drive, Drive someone, someone crazy. crazy. Mm -hmm. Drive someone up the wall. Drive, Drive, Drive someone, someone up the, the wall. wall. Get on someone's nerves. Get, get on get someone's, someone's nerves. nerves. Get under someone's skin. Get, get under, under someone's skin. skin. Get someone's goat. Get, get someone's, someone's get down. down. Make someone mad. Make, make, get someone make, someone make, someone make. make someone sick. Make, make someone, someone sick. sick. And make someone's blood boil. Make, make someone's, someone's blood, blood boil. 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 Pretty much, guys, all of this is about vocabulary. 
get on someone's nerves. So if you want to say eso me vuelve loco, but uh, but uh, in a bad way, in a bad way, you can say that drives me crazy. Say with me, that drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Drive me crazy. Drives me crazy. Eso me vuelve loco. Drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Correct. Also, you can say um, traffic drives my brother up the wall. Say with me, traffic drives my brother up the wall. Traffic drives, traffic guys, my brother up the wall. Yeah, pretty much guys, as you can see, these are the verbs, drive, get, and make, okay? So we are going to replace someone Depends on who you're talking about, all right? Me, you, my mom, my dad, the team, the country. So here, under someone... Make me mad. Yes. Uh -huh. So here, let's go ahead and give me some examples, please. How do you say the distance with the first one? Remember, they all mean the same thing, pretty much. How do you say... Uh, Que la gente mastique chicle me vuelve loco que me molesta. When the people chubby gum okay. drive me crazy. When um, people get under someone's skin, get someone down. Here. <laughs> when people, you can actually have to. to uh, it drives me crazy when people here chew gum. gum. So how do you say me vuelve loco cuando la gente mastica chicle? It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Drive me crazy when people chew gum. When people chew gum, correct. Chew gum. Now, next one. Um, traffic drives my brother up the hill of the world. All right, si ustedes se fijan, guys, estoy ocupando el verbo como verbo principal. Traffic drives my brother up the wall. Yeah, then we have the, who are we talking about? Okay, who is the object? And then you can just replace someone about the people you're talking to, the person you're talking to. So get on my nerves is also um, me molesta. All of these expressions are for me molesta. Someone give me an example with get on my nerves, please. Uh -huh. Anybody? The noise get on me nerve. Noise gets on my nerves. Mm -hmm. So say it again. Noise gets on my nerves. Noise gets on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Me molesta really. Next one. Give me an example. We get under someone's skin. Anybody? Start thinking in the example, guys, because I'm going to be asking all of the examples so you know what to do. Voy a estar pidiendo todos los ejemplos para que sepan, para que lo vayan pensando. All right? Uh -huh. So, example, teacher. Get under someone's skin. Teacher, uh -huh. sorry. And when we want to use these phrases, we, um, we don't have to use exactly someone. Exactly. These words have to be replaced. Exactly. For the noun or the subject, whatever. For the object. Okay, thank you. My oh. brother drives me. So yes, you're right, you're right. Uh -huh. thank Anybody you. when an example will get under someone's skin? Algo que les molesta. If you don't know how to say it in English, let's say it in Spanish and we'll try to do it the way that it's supposed to. And it's exactly the same, someone nerds and someone okay. skin. Yes, all of it's the same. same. Just new vocabulary for you guys. Okay. Well. Anybody? 
Come on, guys. I got 10 people. I just need one. Just <laughs> one volunteer. One volunteer. Come on. Break the ice. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. It gets under my skin when people make another line in the trap. There you go. Oh, very good. Yeah, that's right. Make that's another that's right. And traffic. Very good. Good job. Um, teacher, an example. Go ahead. Just the next one, though. Get some more. Make me. Uh -huh. Go ahead, sir. I couldn't hear you. I get under my skin when people smoke in a public transportation. Okay, very good, very good. That's a good example, but let's go ahead and use get someone down. He was at the bank? Oh. It gets me down when people smoke in public. Smoke in public transportation. Uh-huh, very good. Next one, get someone's go. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, in, a, in a song of the Beatles, in Hey Jude, uh, they say the minute you let it under your skin, then you begin to make it feel better. It, mm. it looks like uh, it's, it's good to let it be on your skin. It depends on the context, because you're saying at the end, it's going to make you feel better, something like that, right? The minute you let it under your skin, then you begin to make it feel better. Okay, so in that case, the conscious itself is telling you that it's being used for something positive. So in that particular case, is uh, something positive. I'm sorry, I can listen mm -hmm. well. All right, Nidia. Um, as you mentioned before, the minute you let it under your skin, Get the you start feeling better, Get right? That's what you said? Yes. Okay. So you begin to make it feel better. Huh? The same concept actually telling everything good to something positive. Okay. It's like fun. you free your your yeah. bad feeling. Mm -hmm. El mismo contexto es lo que le está dando dejando saber que está siendo usado para algo negativo. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So give me an example. We get someone's goat, please. Anybody? You at the bank, get me goat. The, the what? What about the bank? Q on the banks. Hacer oh, fila? Okay. okay. Um, it's not exactly correct. Right? Uh, yes, the thing is, Q is una línea, right? That's a line. People, Hacer fila en los bancos? Me molesta. You can say making. You you wouldn't say that. Waiting in the bank. Yeah. On the line. Mm -hmm. Waiting on the line. Gets me yeah. Mm -hmm. Waiting in the bank gets me cold. Okay, thank you. Very good. You're welcome. Next one, make someone mad, please. Goat is uh, an animal? Yes, cabra. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Me, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now I understand. I think this is my favorite. In my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I find it. <laughs> All right, guys, give me an example. We make someone mad, please. All right, let, let me let me give you, let me give you one. It makes me mad when students don't participate. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. That's a good one, teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Make some uh, direct hit. Exactly. Teacher, mm -hmm. why don't you use drive someone crazy? Because I had an example. When my children have the house dirty, dirty, drive me crazy. Okay. Yeah, it, it's right here. Is that okay? One? Yes, it is. It's the first one we used. So you can oh. say, it, drive me, it drives me crazy when my children uh -huh, uh -huh. mess up the house. You can say, mess up. Uh -huh. Hacer un desastre. Uh -huh. 
mess up the house. It, it makes mess me up the crazy. House. Mm -hmm. It makes me crazy. But so much I don't use the drive. You can. You can use it. Um, este fue el Make que usamos, or ¿no? drive. Okay. Este fue el primero que usamos, guys. Drive me crazy. So, drive crazy, drive up the wall. Todas esas expresiones significan... <coughs> Okay. The same. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué no make me crazy if it drives me crazy? Así es la manera que es. All right. So, yes, you can say it, Maribel. You can mm -hmm. say it, it drives me crazy when my children mess up the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Make someone sick, guys. <laughs> Acuérdense, guys, que después de esto, Vamos a los grupos de práctica y si no me pueden dar algo ahorita, significa que cuando llegue el momento de practicar no vamos a poder ocupar el tiempo para lo que es. Right. Hola. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, guys? I'm doing this in Spanish. Hago esto en español porque quiero que no quede ninguna duda. ¿Tenemos una pregunta? ¿Cómo ocupar estas frases para mostrar que algo nos molesta? Teacher. Uh -huh. What means drives someone up the wall in... Es lo mismo que me molesta. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. So, como les estaba mencionando, guys, todo esto es prácticamente lo mismo. Son frases para hablar acerca de algo que me molesta. Ok. So, um, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Teacher, I have a question. Uh, all these phrases are formal Those or are... informal. No, nah, you can use it. For example, get someone's got. Um, it's formal. The thing is, in a meeting, can I say it gets me vote? The thing is this. It really depends on the meeting you're having. All right? And you're pretty much going to know when to use it. If, if a person is not using any type of expression like this, then don't use it. But if they start using phrases like this, you might as well do it. So the, the detail is, guys, that when you talk to a native speaker, they don't really pay attention to, oh, this is formal, oh, this is informal, they just talk. And it depends on the level of trust on uh, the type of language they will use. Okay. I don't know, but for example, when we are the speaker, I don't know if it's correct when we use this phrase, for example, with my boss, could be, I don't know. I would say yes. I would okay. say yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it drives me crazy. Uh, it gets on my, it gets, uh, it gets me down, for example. Yeah. All right, guys, we're just missing two more. Okay. Let's go ahead and give me an example, please, with make someone down. sick. Get someone's boat. Make someone mad. Mm -hmm. Anybody? I just need one person. It it makes me sick mm -hmm. when uh, the people treat bad uh, a waitress. Okay, it makes me sick when people treat waitress waitress bad. Good job. Good example. It makes me sick when people treat waitresses bad. What? Why waitresses? Because we're talking about women in plural. Good job. Good example. Okay. Okay. And the last one. Make someone's blood boil. Blood boil. Likes make makes she blood boils. I'm sorry. Lies. Mentiras. Oh, okay. Yeah. Likes makes she blood boil. Makes her. Makes her blood boil. Mm -hmm. Lies makes her blood boil. No, lies make. Lies make. makes. Make. So make. Boy, well, without the D. Alrighty, very good, guys. So, any question on how to use these expressions? Just one teacher, uh, when we say drive someone or drive me or drive he or drive she crazy, uh, how, is, how is the difference when I say that girl drive me crazy? Que, Esa chica me gusta o me vuelve loco en el sentido, en el sentido de atracción. Context. The context. 
Just the context. Just the context. It's the same example um, media was talking about, about the Beatles song. The, yes, the, hey, you, very good. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Is, it's going to give you um, more information about when to use it. But right now, we are just using this expression in order for you to express annoyance. That's it. Solo para eso los vamos a ocupar ahorita. Okay, okay thanks. Teacher, other question. Get on someone's nerve is the same nervous. Nervous. No. No. So What's the different? Nerves is nervios. Okay, me estás alterando los nervios. Something like that. And uh, nervous, nervousness is nerviosismo. So two different. Did I answer your question? Yeah. All right, very good. Oh, because the the because the Google said uh, different. Ner nerve, nerviosa, nervous, nervous. Uh huh. Pone nervioso. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. So. It makes me nervous. Me pone nervioso. Like I said, guys, you're gonna find a lot of different things. The key here is keep it simple. Okay. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep it short and simple. Why? Because it, uh, you can get confused. It's okay that you ask questions, and I like your asking questions, but sometimes we overthink too much. Pensamos demasiado en los millones de uso. So right now, let's keep it simple. Let's go ahead and use this expression just for us um, talking about annoying. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. So um, any question before we go to the break rooms and talk? Any question? Okay. Uh -huh. Any questions? No questions? No. All right, very good. So I'm gonna start giving you some, um, some scenarios, okay? And in these scenarios, you're gonna talk if it makes, me, makes you crazy, if uh, it doesn't matter for you, etc. So for example, get you first the scenario looking at your phone when you're talking to someone in person looking at your phone when you're talking to someone in person does it bother you does it make you crazy when you're talking to someone in person and they are using the phone looking at you i do okay yeah. all right so you we are i i not important for that person i am exactly. not important Exactly. So what we're gonna do is the following, guys. You know the drill. ¿Saben qué significa esa esa expresión? You know the drill. What? You know the what? The drill. You know the drill. It's like you already know what to do. So you know how it goes. All right. So when I tell you, you know the drill, is because you already know what to do. I'm gonna be opening the break rooms. Remember, two minutes thirty seconds. All right. And after that, we go back to the main room so I can give you another scenario. For example, ask me, hey, teacher, does it drive you crazy when you're talking to someone in person and they use the phone? And I could tell you, uh, yes, of course. Um, it gets under my nerves because I don't consider this person is giving me the importance that I deserve. Okay? So I wanted to use answers like those. Teacher, uh -huh. I, I don't understand the meaning of, you know, the drill. Tú sabes qué hacer. Ya saben qué hacer. Ya saben cómo va. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Perfect. Now, before we, so we can use the phrases, guys. I'm going to share this for the last time, and I need someone to take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to share this right now. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group, please. Let me know when it's done. It's done. It's done. All right, very good. So now that you have actually sent that to the group, Oh yeah, got it. You can use them. 
in order for you to have an idea on the expressions that you're going to use. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and open the break rooms. In a second. All right. Please accept the invite, guys. I'm going to set my timer to two minutes and 30 seconds. make uh, examples with all the phrases or talking about something specific uh, about the, okay. the, the it's about the phrases but you can use okay your, your phrases or or, any of the phrases okay for example drive me crazy when people fight about soccer soccer games soccer for example, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Huh. Okay, but in this case, guys, you're going to talk about the scenario I gave you. Okay. Uh, about the cell phone. About the cell phone, correct. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, about we the cell phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You got one minute, 20 seconds. Just try to speak a oh. um, Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Another break room. And listen the music, something like that. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I I driving me crazy when someone listening music, band music. Okay. It, it okay. drives me crazy when someone is listening to bad music. Hey guys, but remember. The idea was for you to talk about the scenario I gave you about the phone ah. scenario. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. What? About the Can scenario you... the teacher says the when you are uh, talking with another person and the person is watching the cell phone. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. That is the right. scenario. Yes, correct. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let, let's go back to time solver. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. So let's bring the people back. All right, guys. So we're coming back. Thank you, Maribel and Media. We're just missing for the rest of the people. Oh, um, by the way, well, I'm going to wait for the rest of the people. Did you get a chance to practice, Miriam and Maribel? Hey, hello, hello. Teacher, how do you say necio, necia, terco? Stubborn. Stubborn, yes. Stubborn. Uh, Repeat it after please me. Right. Stubborn. Stubborn. Sir? Can you write? Please write. Yeah, I'm doing that. My God. It's stubborn. 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 All righty, guys. Now, listen up. Stubborn. What? Um, guys, I want to be clear on this, on this uh, scenario. Si ustedes no entienden alguna alguna indicación o no les ha quedado claro, pregúntenme antes de ir a los break rooms. Acuérdense que solo tenemos una hora. All right? um, va a haber un momento cuando nosotros ya sepamos ocupar las oraciones que van a hablar de las cosas que a ustedes les molestan. Pero ahorita estamos trabajando con los escenarios que yo les estaba dando. All right? El anterior es looking at the phone when you're talking to someone. Ese es el escenario que teníamos que tratar. All right? Ok. Now we're going to work with the next one. Talking at the movies. Talking at the movies. Talking at the movies. Now, before, Talking at the movies. Um, Freddy, does it bother you 
when people is looking at their phone when you're talking to them? Yes. It drives me crazy when people do that. Okay, exactly. So here, Freddy, you can use one of the expressions. Oh, oh, yes, yes, Alejandro. It drives me crazy when people do that. Because, and you explain why. Because if they don't pay attention, it's because they don't care about what you're saying. Okay? Okay. okay. So, la última indicación, guys. Vamos a ocupar este escenario, Talking at the Movies. Perdón por el español, pero sí siento que han quedado bastantes cosas no muy claras. ¿vale? Vamos a ocupar este escenario. Luego de eso, ustedes van a escoger una oración y lo van a, a transformar a esto. It drives me crazy when people talk at the movies and you explain why. Y explican por qué. No solo me digan sí o no solo me digan la oración. Tenemos que tratar de sacar lo más que podamos de nuestro speaking. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Let's go ahead and do it again. There we okay. go. Talk about the movies is going to be the subject. Accept the invite, please. Well, uh, for example, um, just let me think, uh, okay, about the movies. Well, for me, it makes me my blood boil when people talking, when people talking in her in their cell phones in the movies, cause it is it is it, distracting. They struggle all the other people. The light of the of the cell phones make make uh, distract all all the attention that we have in the screen, and well. Uh, that's driving me crazy. That's really that like driving me drives crazy. me crazy. Good job, sir. Good job. Good answer. I thanks. Like thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, at the cinema, uh, get me goat when uh, some people scream in a horror movie and maybe it's not a big um, scream. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's not oh, a big sorry. deal. No es la gran cosa? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, a big, big deal. deal. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, now we're talking, guys. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Good job. Thanks. Now we're talking. All right, very good, Thank guys. You. So um, for the next one, try to add more information, but I really like what you are doing. Um, Eduardo, a couple of, I like your answer, but let's go ahead and focus on something. It makes my blood boil. Okay. okay. That would be my, not me, because you're talking about your blood. Your, uh, my blood boil. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. All right, fantastic. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's go back to the main one. Okay. Let's bring everybody back. All right, thank you, Freddy and Eduardo. We're just waiting for the rest. They will be here very, very soon. Um, it's good to say, guys, that I really like what you did. Fantastic. That, that's, exactly, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, I got another one right here. All right, guys, so well, we're just missing Ricardo Calderon. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and move forward. I need a volunteer for you to tell me how you feel when people is talking at the movies. When mm. people is talking on the movies, it made me, made me mad because I want to see the movie, and I I want to uh, understand the trauma. That would be the plot. 
the plot the plot mm -hmm. the plot yeah yeah okay so just ready that's what i'm talking about all right guys next scenario not replacing the toilet paper roll oh man that's really bad <laughs> yep <laughs> <Super>. <laughs> So, um, in my opinion, guys, and I'm giving you ideas on how to how to answer, right? It makes me sick when people don't replace the, the toilet paper roll because you have to do magic in order for you to get another one. Sometimes, <laughs> you gotta friend, sometimes I don't know, if, if you're alone, you might want to go out the restroom, go get one, and go back. Mm. But accidents can happen if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so let's go ahead and answer true, true story question. yeah true story true that <laughs> let's go ahead and open the, the rooms again guys let's rock it two minutes okay. 30 seconds go accept it please all right there we go there we go. I registered Eduardo. Let me just see Julia and Marcelo. I prefer to to give with me in my course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better because you you are prepared <laughs> for for some situation and what about you it's driving it's driving me crazy when the people don't replace the the toilet paper uh, because uh, something it's when you are really sick is you don't have enough time to 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 use or to find pay, paper <laughs> Toilet paper, that's right. <laughs> toilet paper. In this yeah. uh, occasion, it's better to give you with in your food. <laughs> yes, it's to true. To give you what? I'm sorry. Sorry. To give you what? I didn't understand. Uh, that. How do you say traerlo contigo? Uh, give. To, to carry it with you. Carry. Mm -hmm. To carry. carry to carry with me in carry. the food. Carry it with you. And that it can be anything. Oh, okay. You already mentioned it. Carry it with you. For the for the woman it's more easy because it's easier. Easier. Mm -hmm. Because I always have a, a, a wallet or, or something like that. That that'll be a perch. Oh, a perch. Okay. A perch. They will get perch. And we use carry or bring or only carry. Depends on what you want to say. If you want to keep it with you, carry it with you. Bring it with you is traerlo. Traer consigo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. I would recommend to use carry it with you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Thank you, Tisha. Thanks. All right, let's bring people back. All right, so we're just missing one person. I need a volunteer to answer that question, guys. The one that we were working with previously. Anybody? Just one. Don't rush. It make me. It makes me mad when uh, the people forget cha change or replace the toilet paper. Why? Because in my house we have two little, little, little kids, and like you say. Accidents will be happened. Accidents will happen. Will happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Good job, Eduardo. Now let's go Thanks. ahead and work with another one, guys. Eating loudly. Do you know what is eating loudly? 
When people no. make noise when eating. Mm. Oh, okay. Example. Ah. Eating? Chewing. Eating loudly. When people make noise when eating. Or for example, when uh, soup. Uh, uh, aspire, aspire to soup. Exactly. Sipping. It's a sip. Sipping. Uh, sipping. Sip. Mm -hmm. sip. Okay. Like a pig. Oh, sip it. Sipping. Oh, okay. Un sorbito. A sip is un sorbito. All right. So it can be soup. It can be anything. But they, they chew with their mouth open. Like. Yes. How, how do you say? How, how do you say aspiradora? I forget that word. Vacuum. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Like vacuum. a vacuum. vacuum. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get it together. And you're gonna have two minutes, thirty seconds. All right. Okay. There we go. Accept the invite, please. All right, let's go ahead and visit Maribel and Nidia this time. My husband has that that <laughs> habit. The bad habit. habit. Yes. Bad habit. <laughs> but after 28 <laughs> years of living with him, I don't know. I have to just close my ears. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's sad. So, but you love him. But yes. you love him. <laughs> In some way, I love him. Yes. Uh -huh. In my case, I think uh, I don't feel bad. Uh, maybe the for for answer the questions. For answering. I, answering, I have to say, uh, I get, I get down when people uh, when people eat loudly loudly teacher loudly loudly people loudly como se dice when loudly people, when people when shout people shout eat loudly oh it's loudly that the same way that you're saying when people eat when people eat loudly, mm -hmm. uh, because I think is uh, sometimes in our family they don't teach us how to eat, uh, and sometimes people have people has uh, has or have have it depends have. on the context. People, but people let's have, have. Oh, okay. People have bad 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 habits. So I think we have to comprehend, to be comprehensive. 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 Huh? <laughs> Com I'm going to write that. Comprehensive. 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 Uh -huh. With the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they, they have different um, customs or habits. Yeah. Yeah, different customs. But they have learned habits. in their families, so I don't know if it's correct to make them fit in, in your scam, in your your pattern. Your pattern? What, yes. what do you want to say? Um, for example, um, I eat with fork and a knife, but Sometimes my husband eats with hand because he studied in India. With so he, he eats with his hand. He studied. Yes. He so I I, uh -huh. I feel weird, but it was something that he he learned sometimes ago. Sometimes. In a different place that is not our customs. Okay. Our customs. But I don't know if I have to take take it of him because it's something that he feels I don't know uh, comfort comfortable comfortable yes mm -hmm. I don't know 
All right, very good. Good participation, girls. Let me go. Let's go back to the main session. All right. Okay. I okay. see. Thank you. All right, guys. I think we are all here. Yeah, we're just missing a few. All right, guys. Does anybody want to answer that question? The one that we were working with? People eating loudly? Eating loudly? Mm -hmm. on, repeat, repeat. People La eating loudly? Loudly? Loudly. 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 Uh -huh. Anybody answering that question, please? Loudly. Who's going to answer that question? ¿Alguien la va a contestar? Posiblemente hoy. All right. When, uh -huh. when yeah. people are hearing, hearing loudly, gets on, gets on me nerves. My, gets on my the, nerves. Gets on my nerves. The love, love. And Why? Why does it get on your nerves? Be because, um, because when people are, are um, eating, mm -hmm. I, I think these people, um, um, they, they, ha they don't have education. Education. Or how do you say modales? Models. Manners. Models. Models. <laughs> manners too. They, they don't have manners or models. Manners. Manners. Models. Tienen manera. All right, very good. Manners. Um, before I let you go, guys, I'm going to assign homework. Okay. Okay. I wanted to send, I wanted to practice with this question that I posted on the chat. Trying to sneak into the, into a line in the middle instead of getting in the back. That can be people cutting you off in a line at the supermarket or when you're driving, for example. But they always try to cut you off. Also, we have standing too close to other people in the line. I don't know if it has ever happened to you, but I was at Walmart like two days ago. And this lady was right behind me, but super close. Nice. Was very uncomfortable. Yeah. She hit me with the cart a couple of times. And obviously I got upset, you know, I, I kind of argued with the lady or I, may, or I said a few words. So we're going to have that one. And also running late. Okay. So make sure that you keep these three and answer them, send me a voice note. We're gonna put it again. Send me a voice note with those three answers, but try to make the answer within a minute, all of them. Okay? What are the three answers? The three questions? The three questions in a minute. Well, which are the three questions? Trying to sneak into a line in the middle instead of getting in the back. It's in the chat, on the chat. Uh -huh. Standing too close to other person in line, and running late. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So it was my pleasure. Thank you very much for doing your best. I know that sometimes it's difficult to warm up, to participate, but you are here excited for that, to practice. All right? Thank Thanks. you. Okay, so, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for being a part of this class at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good night. You're welcome, guys. Thank Have a good you. night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.